So, happy 4th of July, 2019. And to those of you out there who served, thank you for your service. So anyhow, I've been wanting to do this video for a while now, but things got hectic. Actually, going back April 23rd is uh, when I dropped this truck off at Linex. Here are some of the photos uh, of the truck just before it had at Linex, just before I had the work done to it. So there were the pictures, including uh, some of the stuff I bought for it, which I'm about to show you right here, right now. So we start right here at the rocker panel and a little bit up the door, right up to this line. This is one of the things I liked about this truck too, is the lines. It's a nice straight line all the way back. Had this stock Mopar mud flap, also line X'd. There were supposed to be side steps. Didn't fit like they were supposed to. So, ranch hand left a bad taste in my mouth, never use them again, and um, I just don't want to spend any more money on this truck till I uh, at least have the money to pay it off. So, for now, the side steps are just going to have to be their own undertaking. You get back here to the bed, see it follows all the way to the bed, right here, and he actually took the bed off, flipped it over and did the whole underside of the bed, so even... This side of the sheet metal is fully protected. And as you'll also see in the pictures that I'm about to show you, this guy helped my cause too by doing even more rust proofing because there was some rust on top of the frame rails. He removed that rust and then he undercoated it. So here's the pictures of that. So some are asking me, hey, what happened to the bumper you were planning to put on there? Well, here's what happened. There was a misunderstanding between me and the Linex guy. He did not know that I had wanted the bed pulled off so he could do the face of the bed in the back of the cab. Which I will show as soon as I get back to the back. But I wanted to discuss the front just briefly. But, you know, I wanted to stay on budget because... You know, at least at least the other work I had did, you know what, I can make the argument that I'm doing it to protect the body of the truck. Couldn't really make that argument for the grill. And then after the fiasco I had with Ranch Hand's side steps, it really left me wondering what kind of disaster would have ensued if I had tried to use their bumper. Not to mention, I saw one of their bumpers on a Ram in person. And uh, I will say, it really adds length to the truck, which I did not like. Now, I can understand them having to do that on the older Rams because the grill used to go up with the hood. So you need that extra swing around space. That's not the case here at my 2018, so there was no reason it needed to extend out so far. So that was another thing I didn't like about it. So, if there's any case of less is more, 
it was certainly here. So much like the sidesteps, that's just gonna have to be its own undertaking for a different day. Mind you, it's not out of the realm of possibility that I might not get this bumper at all. I'm just gonna have the stock front bumper line X, the tow hooks line X, and um, get a draw tight uh, front trailer hitch that's meant to go in here. So I might do that too, just to keep things inexpensive because every one of these bumpers I have looked at, uh, in some way, form, or another, they just raise more questions than they're answering. So it's possible I might not even get, you know, the front bumper that I thought I was gonna get for this truck. Now, back to the back. Uh, I just can't really get the camera to see in here that well, but this is what the pictures were for. You can kind of see it through the top here. But the reason I did this is because it's hard to get to that space. So what better way to have it cleaned up nicely and have it lie next. I don't have to worry about rust back there. You can see where it does the wraparound so the cab corners are protected. And then you mosey on over back to here. Do the same thing. Yeah, you, of course, I'd take the bumper off to take the bed off. But also... Because I exnade on the bumper and a couple other things, the budget enabled me to get this backflip MX4 here. And uh, let me demonstrate that right now. So I'm pulling the string here. I want to do a close-up of what I'm doing here. So, yes, I know I got to do this side just for demonstration purposes. Pull the string here, and then one of the prop rods. I'll show why. I'll show you in a second what I did. So I'm slide this down like so, and there you go. So now it also acts as a glass protector, like you would find in the back rack. All right. This is the string I was pulling on. See, it pulls this back. And the cool thing about this backflip MX4 is it doesn't take up this space on the bed here. So I can still actually put some bed rails. Now, mind you, I gotta get the right bed rails that can work with this backflip. This is already the first stage. You see, I'm standing in here. Here's the second stage. Now, I will have to pull on the string again to flip this up again. This is the final stage before it goes vertical. If you want to keep it like this, you can. And that's what these belts are here for. See, I squeeze this in. Now, I can do this. Do a close-up of that. And then, make sure you got some tension on it. This will keep it from flying the other way when you're on the freeway. Still a good idea to secure it too, even if you're going to put it vertically. Always do this step. Whether you're going to keep it at this step, or you're ready to put it vertical. Same here. And I pull up, and there you go. Now you're vertical. Now these loops here is what holds on to it. Now you can keep it open like a hook, but these keep bouncing out, so that's why I have to take them out of here, slide it out of there. It's just more secure that way. I'll show on the other one. See, so I put it up here. Loosen this up. Oh, when you're ready to put the, when you're ready to fold it back down, always make, never leave these loose. Always tighten it up just slightly. Or this is going to vibrate loose and get lost in the bed. And these don't have to be super tight. Once you slightly compress the plastic, that's about it. So you see, this is what I'm talking about. I kept it in the loop right here. Now I don't know how well the camera's going to pick it up. And to those who are wondering, yes, I have been moving the truck around so the sun can hit at the right angles here. See, I slide it out of the loop and then I put it back into here. I just thread it back in. I'm just sure that these rods aren't bouncing around because if, if these if these pop out of the hook like a cargo bouncing around that can damage the rods, damage this, and I certainly don't need that to be happening. <coughs> Ooh, pollen's pretty bad today. So pardon me. Slide it down. There we go. Worth every penny if you ask me. So I don't have to take the plywood out every time I have to go to the car wash. Now I can keep certain things in the bed. Like my towing stuff, I even trimmed the wood around the bin so that way it doesn't shift all over the place. So, 
absolutely worth uh, the 850 bucks I dropped on it. Mind you, every once in a while I am going to, at home, have to use the power washer now, clean out the inside of the bed. And I might just do that today. Well, that's all I really have to show for now. Not planning to do much of anything else until the truck is paid off. Have a safe and happy Independence Day, especially if you're going to play with fireworks. Please be careful. And to those of you who have served, thank you for your service.